how can I improve my accuracy and so very interesting uh, for the global theme for quant and LRD at least uh, is uh, don't take punts, don't randomly take chances. If you know you are taking chances, you are going to attempt all theta questions in the last 2 minutes, that is fine. Attempt theta questions in the last 2 minutes, that is completely fine. But the way, don't take chances. So, I am not talking about taking chances. I am assuming that is not there. You are not punting randomly. How do I improve my accuracy? Right? So, uh, I am going to work with one theme each in each of these things. And so, in uh, verbal, in each section, one theme. For verbal, there is a fatigue that creeps in. Uh, when you are after you have finally boiled it down to one of two choices, if you are down to B or D, there is a fatigue that creeps in which says, look I do not evaluate, I will go for B or D and you punt, avoid that. You have to hang in there, especially when double negatives are there. You cannot just say it seems like this. You have to read the question again, pause, gather your thoughts, compare the two choices and make a judgment. So, you will have to consciously tell yourself to not get tired and wing it and punt it. Can do that for verbal, it is important, it is crucial and it pays dividends. Right? For quant, accuracy wise, there is one funda that is, uh, lots of times I have gotten errors. One big, big mistake that I have done consistently should not read the question completely. There will be something which says distinct integers, uh, natural numbers, whole numbers, non-negative numbers, uh, where distinct real solutions, so the words matter a lot. Sometimes I have cancelled 0 on both sides, but I have not worried about a modulus. So, when you are in a hurry, you tend to drop your guard. The number one mistake that I have done consistently is to not grab the detail in the question. It will ask for uh, whatever we have assumed as x, it will ask for number of factors of x and I will answer as x. So, that, that you, you read the question, around 70% of the mark through the question, you feel like, look, I have got this, an doable question, this is a method and we jump in. And then when that happens, we don't read the remaining 20% of the question. I know what's happening. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then we, we rush to the answer. Read the question completely. Don't leave it at that. LRDI, typically for me errors have crept in because I have not worried about another possibility. The moment one grid gets filled, one set of data points gets filled, it goes in there, then my mind shuts down to the possibility that one more mechanism is possible. So, there is one table that is the most likely explanation everything fits in and then there is one other possibility that we have not completely eliminated. Once this gets formed, our mind tends to shut that off. So, worry about the completeness of your solution. Do not go for a solution. Do not go, go for one possibility. Go towards all possibilities because once you have spent 14-15 minutes cracking a set, another one minute to get both possibilities, you are going to get 5 out of 5 right which is way better than getting 4 right, 1 wrong for the in incremental time invested. So, those are the three themes I would look on when it comes to improving accuracy for each of the sections. Best wishes for Ken.